Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this outfit. And before we begin, if you're new here, please subscribe down below. And of course, if you do, turn on post notifications so you won't miss any of my future uploads. And for this video, we're going to aim for about 800 likes, so I would appreciate it if you could go down below and leave a like. Anyway, shout out to these people on screen now for commenting on hashtag TJRH on my last video. Also, if you guys are in need of money in GTA 5, be sure to check out Digizani as they do offer cheap, fast and reliable cash and rank services. So if you want this, check out the link in the description and also don't forget to use my code TJRH for 5% off your order. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to any clothing store on the map. And you will also want to put the required amount of money inside of your bank. Now, equip the outfit you would like to keep, as this glitch does delete all your saved outfits, except for the one you equip, of course. And you can either delete them all yourself, or by doing the glitch, they will get deleted, either way. And once you have done so, you want to open your pause menu, and go to online swap character. And by the way, for this glitch to work, you will need your main character to be in slot 1, and it will also need to be a male. And now you want to make a new female character in slot 2. And make sure you accept this alert. And in this menu, you want to make sure it is a female, and then hit save and continue, and name it anything. And then once you take this picture, you should load into online. Now once you have loaded in, you want to enable passive mode so no one can mess you up whilst you are doing a glitch. And now open your map to see if you have any clothing stores. And if you do, just go to one, but if you do not, find a new session and they should appear. Anyway, once you have made it to a clothing store, you want to head inside. And you want to go to the accessories menu over at the back of the store. And you want to remove any accessories that come with your outfit, so... Most standard outfits do come with earrings, and you want to make sure you take those off. And once you have done so, you want to go down to gloves. And on this, equip the black woolen gloves. And then once you have equipped these, you want to go to pants. Now, on this menu, you want to go down to utility pants. And equip the black battle pants. So equip these and then you want to go to tops. And on tops you want to go down to biker cuts. And then on this you want to equip number 50. Yeah so equip this one. And then once you have equipped this you want to go down to bikinis. And on bikinis equip, number, equip the black bikini. Which I think is number 27. Yeah, so make sure you equip this, and then you want to back out and open up your interaction menu, and you want to go on inventory, and go to body armor, and you want to show armor, heavy armor, so make sure you do this, and from here you want to go save this outfit. And you want to make sure you save this outfit to slot 2. And once you have saved it, you want to go over to shoes. And then on this menu, go onto boots, and you want to equip the black slack boots, which should be number 33. Yeah, so equip these ones, and then you want to head over to her pants. And on this, go down to sports pants, and you want to equip the first ones which should be the spotted muscle pants. And once you have equipped those, you want to re-equip your heavy armor, so open up your interaction menu, and you want to go to inventory, body armor, and show armor, heavy armor. Then once you do this, you want to save this outfit to slot 3. Now, once you have both these outfits saved, all you want to do is open up your interaction menu, and take the easy way out which will force the game to save. Now once you spawn out on foot all you want to do is open up your pause menu. 
and go to online startup creator. And once you're in this menu, you want to make a new land race. Now, once you're here, just fill in the race details. So the title, description and photo do not matter and they can be anything. And this part here is important. So you want to make sure you set a maximum players to three and also set a route type to point to point. And once you do so, you can choose a supercar if you want to make this process a little bit quicker. Now open up your map and you want to walk over to the airport. And you want to place a trigger anywhere, it doesn't really matter. And take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now this part here is important, you want to make sure you place checkpoints until the race is at least one mile long, as if it isn't, it will not allow you to test it, so just make sure it is at least one mile. And once you've made sure it's at least one mile, just test the race. And then once you finish, you want to accept this alert. Now just open your pause menu and you want to go to your online choose character. And once you are here, you want to delete your female character. Now this part is important so you want to make sure you return to story mode. So press B for Xbox or circle for PS4. And once you load in you want to start a new online invite only session. Now once you spawn in you should have the outfit on that you chose to keep. And what you want to do is you want to go to a clothing store and save this outfit. And you want to save this away from the outfits that should have transferred over. So just save it to slot 10. Now we'll need the CEO vest for this next bit. So all you want to do is come to this clothing store on the map. And once you are here, you want to open your interaction menu. And you want to go to hide options and go to jobs and you want to set it to custom and then this should make it so the blue jobs appear on the map now all you want to do is become a ceo and once you've done this you want to open up your interaction menu and go to ceo management and you want to go to style now equip the outfit with the ceo vest yeah so equip this one uh, this outfit and you want to make sure your spawn location is set to last location and then come into this blue circle and press right on the d-pad and once you are here you just want to start this up and in this menu click confirm and continue now in the second menu you want to wait a few seconds and then quit the job now once you spawn in you want to quickly go into the clothing store and then press right d-pad on this menu and you want to wait on this menu until you get kicked out of the menu. Now, once you have been kicked from the menu, it should give you, it should put the CEO outfit back on. And now you want to retire from the CEO. And then you also want to save this outfit away from the other outfits. So just save it to slot 9. Now, all you want to do is make sure you have this outfit equipped. And for this next bit, you will also need an earpiece. So if you do not have one, you can purchase one from any ammunition store but you don't want to equip it just yet and now you want to open your pause menu and go to jobs play jobs and you want to go on rockstar created then go down to versus and start crooked cop and in this menu you want to set a clothing to player owned and then invite anyone and start this up now in this menu you want to go down to owned outfit and scroll two to the right and it should give you this outfit so from here just ready up and once you have loaded in you want to equip your earpiece so open up your interaction menu and equip your earpiece 
and from here you want to go to the clothing store in the mission so that when you quit you will spawn closer. Now make sure your earpiece is still equipped and then you want to quit the job by using your phone. And once you spawn in, go over to the clothing store. Now this part is optional, you can either remove your earpiece or you can keep it on, it doesn't really matter. And then just go and save this. And from here you can go uh, customize this outfit as much as you want to and I'm sure you'll probably want to change the gloves. Uh, they weren't meant to come out like this but they did but you can change them anyway so it doesn't matter and that is the outfit done so hopefully you did enjoy and if you did please leave a like down below also if you are new here and you made it this far into the video please go down below and subscribe but yeah i appreciate it if you did make it this far and thank you so much for watching, have an amazing day, all night wherever you are, and I'll see you all in the next one.